Okay. I believe the video before this one, I think I spoke about thanking God. Okay. And while I was lying down, I believe something came to my mind and I want to share this with you. I think it was last summer and around that time, I think I would pray way more than what I do now. I think for a very long time, I would pray for three hours often. I guess I can't really say every day, but for a time, I would pray for three hours often and perhaps more. And I am not telling you this to get any pats on the back or make myself look greater than anyone. I am not trying to do that. Anyways, I believe what I would do, I think I would thank God for an hour, then perhaps for another hour or so, I would pray about other things. I forget how I would do everything, but I think for a while, I would pray, I would thank God for an hour, for at least an hour. Sometimes I went over that hour in thanking God, I believe. Anyways, back then, most times when I would pray, I believe I would pray while doing other things. Some people may believe they can only pray with their eyes closed and while they are on their knees. I guess if you want to, I guess you can pray like that. But with me, sometimes now, I pray while doing other things. Yes, sometimes I pray on my knees and eyes closed, I think. So anyways, last summer, I was doing something outside and I was thanking God. And out the corner of my eyes, it was like there was a person there. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. I believe it was like a person, like, how can I say this? Like, let's say I'm facing this way. And out the corner of my vision or eyes, it was like a person there. And when I would turn my head and look toward that direction, I would not be able to see that person. And that happened not only one time, not only two times. I believe it happened, man, maybe, I don't know, like five or more times. Now, a person may say to me, well, Kevin, that may have been a demon or something like that. Now, I have had experiences with demons and I don't think it was a demon. No, I don't think so. And you may say, who do you think it was? And you probably know who I think it was. I believe thanking God is 
extremely powerful. For instance, and I may be wrong about this, but let me say this. What if you only came to me when you wanted something? Kevin, I want some brand new shoes. And then after I give you the shoes, you go on your way and not talk to me and worry about your own business and not have anything else to do with me until you want something else, how would you think I would feel if you treated me in that way? I believe I would feel like used, right? I believe I would feel like, hey, does this person really appreciate me? Like, like what's going on? But what if you came to me and you would thank me? Kevin, I thank you for what you did five years ago. Kevin, you know, I'm not here to ask you for anything, but I just want to show you appreciation for what you have done for me. How do you think that would make me feel? I believe that would motivate me to want to do more for you, right? Please listen to what I am saying. I am not saying that it is wrong to ask God for things. I believe what I am saying is show God appreciation. Maybe what you are going through, maybe you are going through it, maybe because you don't show God appreciation. Maybe you don't show God thanks. Okay. Let me stop here. God bless you.